unplug it is the coolest thing ever! Okay, take two. If you haven't heard of Yanfly's Doodad's plugin, then go download it, go download it now! Okay, this time for real. Yanfly's Grid Free Doodads is a plugin that lets you add individual map elements, so graphics, with pixel perfect precision anywhere on your map from inside the game itself! That's not all though. To begin with, to use this plugin, download the .js files from Yanfly's website and shove it into your plugins folder amongst the 700 other plugins you probably have by now. You'll also need the doodads.json file. Just download it and put it into your game's data folder. I'd also recommend the doodads starter pack, because resources! At this time, there is also one extension plugin for it, which adds a few extra incredibly useful features. So go ahead and download that one as well. Again, throw it under your plugins folder. Now go into plugin manager, and put the two plugins in. Since this is a plugin that manipulates specific graphics, they get their own folder. By default, it's the image slash doodads folder. So we'll want to go into our game's root folder slash image and create a folder called doodads. This is where we nicely throw all of our graphics we intend to use with it. So the nice little images we downloaded from the starter pack can just go in here. If you happen to end up with any strange, this folder does not exist, and you're like, hey, yeah, but it does, I have a fun little story down in the description that might solve your problem. Now, as for the other parameters, we have a smoothing setting, which when on, will set things to have a smoothing filter applied to them. Now, keep in mind, you can change these specifically for each doodad in-game. So it's really just a default setting. Next, we have how the graphics are listed, alphabetically or by ID. ID drives me crazy, so I definitely recommend alphabetical just for the sake of keeping your sanity when you're trying to find things. But again, it's just your own convenience preference here. The next few parameters are a bit more important. Default grid snap will, shocker, snap the graphics to the default RM grid. If you want to go off the grid, keep this disabled. If you do want to get all gritty with it, <laughs> these jokes are terrible, you can set it to the... <laughs> Please help. <laughs> <laughs> you can set it to the default grid width and height of 48 by 48 or change it if your game uses a different grid size. Again, this is mostly customizable in-game for each doodad. If you're having any trouble figuring this stuff out, the Yanfly version of what I'm saying is in the plugin help file. So I definitely recommend a read through because why would you use a plugin without reading the help file, am I right? So let's get to actually playing around with this awesome plugin. To use it, play your game in test play mode. You won't be able to access the options menu for it in EXE mode. Then just find a map to do datafy and press F10 on the keyboard. Uh, uh, no, um, uh, uh, oh, there we go. So that'll bring up this nice little menu. Let's try adding some doodads. You can either use the keyboard or the mouse to navigate here. Well, let's place a doodad. If you put the graphics from the starter pack in, they should show up here. If they end with flashes, that means they're folders, and you can access the graphics inside them. Let's pick a fun little graphic to place. Then place it! Congratulations! You've placed a doodad! Achievement unlocked! Now at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a list of keys and what they do. Q and E toggle the layer up and down, so whereabouts in the game's canvas, the graphic is placed relative to the character. Layer 5 is same as character, so the player can walk both behind and in front of it. Below that is below the character, and above 5 is above the character. You have between layer 0 to 10 to play with. So you can layer doodads upon doodads upon doodads upon doodads upon doodads. WASD, or WASDA, lets you move the screen around, and the arrow keys allow for pixel perfect placement. Z will place it, and X will return to the previous menu. This can also be done with the mouse left click and right click. Thank goodness for that! X and Y to show the coordinates of your pointer, and where you'll be placing the doodad. There are also some shortcuts you can use that aren't listed here, but are listed in the plugin help file. Such as the top row number keys will toggle the opacity of a doodad, G will bring up the grid snap menu, R will bring up the region overlay, and H will actually hide this nice little window with all the information on it. So let's hit T now and talk about tweak settings. This will bring up a whole nother menu. Here you can further manipulate an image's settings. It will change the settings for the next doodad you go to place, so delete and change positions are grayed out until you come back later to edit it. Again, you can select the layer here, modify the hue, which if you click it will come up with several presets. If they aren't to your liking, you can use the left and right arrows to do it manually. This applies to everything on this list. 
You can change the X and Y scaling separately, so how big it is, and even set negative values to flip it around. The anger X and Y settings basically sets where your mouse is holding it from. This is handy if you're trying to place it just, just off the screen or some such. If your image is animated, you can adjust the frame rate here. Quick note on animating images. To get them to appear animated, you have to add the amount of frames the image has and the amount of rows into the image's file name. The starter pack has some you can look at for reference. In any case, Blend here lets you set the same blend options you can have for pictures and events, i.e. Normal, Additive, Multiply, and Screen Blending. These are effects. They're neat. You can lastly set the smoothing for individual graphics here. If you have the extension plugin in, because I mean why wouldn't you this thing is awesome, you'll get a handful of other features. These include having the dude show up if a certain character is in the party, or if a certain switch is on. Just select the character or switch, the condition you want, and you're good. This is really helpful if you're doing something like multiple seasons in your game, or having areas only show up if certain characters happen to be there. These are just so handy. The last set of options are tone changers. There are numerous presets to choose from, or you can manually set the values below. Once you're good, press accept settings and place your dude. If you've realized you've made a horrible, horrible mistake, revert settings and try again. Let's go back to the main menu and check out the edit features. The actual features of changes aren't the ones we just saw, but it sorts them based on layer to search through each individual dude, and we'll take the camera to them when selected. Oh, we'll just list all the things. After you get all your dude set up, I'd recommend save and close in case you're jittery like me and accidentally clear doodads and go whoops. Import from another map is nice if you say need to make a duplicate copy of a map for whatever reason. Like the world gets destroyed or suddenly your snow towns in summer. This will easily let you copy and make adjustments instead of redoing literally everything. Toggle region overlay? We'll show you the region tags you have placed on the map. This is helpful for several reasons. One of them being that these images you're placing have complete passability, and I can't see anywhere to change that. So you'll probably want to grab Yonfly's region restrictions to control passability for extra things. Which, oh ho ho, uses region IDs to do it! I imagine it would also be convenient as something of a rough draft or outline if you're making most of your map in doodads. As you can see, this plugin has immense possibilities for mapping. It can be used for little map touch-ups, adding extra details, to full-on making most of the map using doodads. And to my personal favorite, letting me do bedsheets and parallax mapping, oh my gosh! This is actually a bit of a godsend of a plugin to parallaxers, because when parallaxing, you basically have two layers. Everything else are event. You just siphon out the under-overlapping images from the map, throw it in doodads, and place. Take that token in your head that keeps wanting to go under tables, you jerk. I really can't say enough good things about this plugin. The only problem I have with it is that I didn't do a tutorial on it sooner. <laughs> to my surprise, this plugin seems extremely compatible. I was able to throw it into my current project with no problems at all. Uh, 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 okay, mostly it doesn't like cameras. But it functions and it works and it's glorious. And if you happen to be wondering about lag or performance issues, I haven't tested it to complete all entire game thoroughly, but I threw a muffin ton of animated trees on a map and I haven't seen any problems so far, and as far as loading times or extra issues and lag goes. Okay, so I think I've gushed over this plugin for long enough. If you have any tutorial requests, tweet Echo607 at to Twitters and see it become real! <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you later, gamers!